Hey, my wife. Do not touch me. Okay. Outside. I'm Whoa. trying to That's answer enough. you straight up. Here is a wild encounter involving a woman attempting to open secure areas, resisting arrest, and causing a scene that will leave you speechless. Stop, stop, stop. Officers arrive to find a woman attempting to open a secure concourse. The situation quickly escalates as the woman becomes aggressive towards one of the officers. The officers attempt to handle the situation carefully, but the woman remains uncooperative and verbally aggressive. Verbal abuse, defiance, and a struggle follow as the officers try to gain control of the situation. Despite being seated in a wheelchair, the woman remains agitated and uncooperative. In a bizarre turn of events, Athens Clark County Police found themselves dealing with an unexpected situation when responding to a call about a firearm discharge. As officers located the woman in the dressing room of the club, the plot thickened. Initially denying any involvement, her story took an unexpected turn when officers mentioned a pat down for weapons. However, the situation took a more chaotic turn as the 19-year-old woman became hostile and obnoxious while being placed in the patrol car. She even managed to slip out of her handcuffs at one point, creating a challenging scenario for the officers. Monroe County Sheriff's deputies were alerted to a disturbance in Wilton, Wisconsin. A 22-year-old woman, later identified as Daisy Mendoza, was causing chaos, reportedly breaking things before fleeing the scene on foot. The deputies, familiar with Daisy from previous encounters, spotted her walking along the side of the road. After a tense pursuit, the deputies managed to apprehend Daisy. However, the situation escalated quickly as she became resistive and uncooperative, turning a routine arrest into a challenging ordeal. Stand up, Daisy. Come on. Daisy. You're just hurting yourself. Daisy's resistance continued, prompting the deputies to call for a spit mask to prevent her from spitting on them. Despite their efforts, Daisy remained defiant, screaming and threatening the deputies. An entitled Karen takes shoplifting to a whole new level. Not only does she try to make off with a cart full of stolen items, but things take a chaotic turn. Stop. No, stop. Let me go. Stop. stop. Let me go. Listen, relax. Let me go. Okay, relax. No, it ain't over. It, it, it is. ain't over. The situation escalated quickly as the deputies attempted to apprehend the shoplifter. Backup arrives to assist in controlling the situation as the woman continues to resist arrest. I'm not going nowhere until I stand up and get in this and you let me go. As the struggle continues, the officers try to restrain the woman while she vehemently denies any wrongdoing. The woman continues to resist arrest, expressing her frustration and accusing the officers of excessive force. The police were conducting DUI enforcement when they encountered a suspect, Jessica, at Cowboys Bar. <laughs> Upon pulling over the vehicle, the officers approached Jessica and attempted to detain her. However, Jessica resisted arrest and began to physically struggle with the officers. As Jessica's behavior escalated, the officers were forced to use pepper spray to subdue her and gain control of the situation. Eventually, Jessica was placed in the back of a police car where she continued to resist and behave aggressively towards the officers. An ordinary traffic stop took an unexpected turn when an 80-year-old woman named Glenadine Robert refused to comply with police officers during a DUI arrest. Okay. I can smell, I can smell the odor of uh, alcohol beverage coming from. from well, How like a long get? time ago, I had like one drink. The incident began when the police pulled over Glenadine's vehicle for failure to signal and a headlight violation. As the officers continue questioning Glenadine, they suspect she might be under the influence of alcohol. They ask her to perform field sobriety tests to assess her level of impairment. Stop! 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 Despite Glenadine's protests and refusal to comply, the officers decide to arrest her for DUI, aggravated battery, reckless driving, and resisting arrest. During the attempt to handcuff her, Glenadine kicks and resists, accusing the officers of mistreatment. A call was made to law enforcement about a woman engaging in concerning behavior in a neighborhood. Relax. Back up! Sir! Stop! 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 St
Watch out! Go! Watch out! Go. 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 I'm asking you, stop! Go. I didn't Go. do anything, sir! Turn around. Wait, Turn sir, stop! Wrist. As officers confront the suspect, identified as Chloe, tensions rise. Chloe denies any wrongdoing, claiming she knew the resident she was approaching. Tensions escalate further as Chloe becomes confrontational and denies allegations. Officers attempted to detain her, leading to a physical altercation. Chloe's resistance and outbursts intensify as she pleads not to be arrested. Despite Chloe's protests, officers proceed with her arrest, citing charges of burglary and assault. A routine night of foot patrol for the police took an unexpected turn when an 18-year-old named Rebecca Vallejo got involved in a bar fight. Despite attempts to stop the fight, she persisted, going after one of the males until she ended up on the ground. The officers tried to restrain Rebecca, but she resisted fiercely, shouting and kicking. She made the arrest process a real challenge for law enforcement. Once in the squad car, her behavior only escalated. Things went from bad to worse when Rebecca managed to slip out of her handcuffs, hitting the squad car divider. The officers, concerned for her safety and their own, faced a challenging situation. On August 3, 2022, 58-year-old Brenda Hudson, a deputy P with the sheriff's office, found herself in a highly intense and unexpected situation. Don't f***ing bite me. Stop. Well, shut the door. Hill. Yep. Shut the door. What started as a routine traffic stop quickly escalated when Brenda was questioned about her erratic driving behavior. The situation became even more complex as Brenda resisted medical attention. As officers tried to assist, Brenda's behavior turned combative. She also played dead, thinking she was going to outsmart the law enforcement. Refusing cooperation, she resisted arrest, prompting the officers to call for additional help. The officers were forced to use restraints to ensure everyone's safety. Brenda's aggressive behavior continued, creating a challenging scenario for law enforcement. An entitled mother in Illinois found herself in a heated dispute with her son. This is in my You're house. under arrest right now. Why? You're under Why? arrest for Why? domestic battery. I need Drop you to first. stop tensing Why? up. I need you to stop telling While one officer engaged with the son, the other faced the uncooperative mother. The situation became increasingly tense, with the mother resisting the officer's instructions. The mother insisted on retrieving her ID, creating further complications. There you go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to stretch her move. <laughs> Make this a little easier. Got it. As the officer informed her of the arrest for domestic battery, the mother demanded an explanation. She questioned the charges, creating a chaotic and confrontational atmosphere. The mother's refusal to comply led to physical restraint, with officers struggling to keep her calm and secure in the police car. Here is a wild story involving an arrest, disorderly conduct, and an unexpected twist. Write it down. Write it down. You're I'm under Just put your hand on me. Assault. In a recent incident, a woman became involved in a heated confrontation with law enforcement. She demanded badge numbers, threatened to call the police, and things quickly escalated when she was informed of her impending arrest. Please. What's your arrest? What's your she, she, just, she just crapped herself, too. So she's got no panties no, on. Go. She's crapped herself. Look me in the face. As officers tried to take her into custody, things took an unexpected turn. She defecated while being arrested, creating a challenging and awkward situation for everyone involved. Amid the chaos, the woman continued to resist arrest, insisting on going to a different county and accusing the officers of trespassing. Now we'll take you to Delray Beach, Florida. Upon arrival, officers encountered a chaotic scene with a female driver involved in the crash. I will sit on the curb I will sit on the curb Don't hurt me, I just got in a car accident. She was frantically trying to remove her belongings, screaming about her boyfriend, who she claimed was on his way and had already contacted a lawyer. She resists and refuses to let the fire department assess her condition. The situation escalated as they actively resisted arrest, screaming and pulling away from officers. Don't do this to me again. No, you're not helping me. I know. If you were helping me, you would let me go to the, the freaking curb and call my boyfriend. It took several officers over two minutes to finally detain her in the rear seat of a patrol car. Due to the suspects being uncooperative and the need for a DUI investigation, the fire department administered a sedative. The subsequent blood test in April revealed she was under the influence of alcohol. In a bizarre and complicated DUI arrest, officers were dispatched to an apartment complex following a noise complaint about a silver SUV playing loud music. Little did they know, this routine call would escalate into a challenging and intense situation. Hannah, get out of the car. No. Hannah. Oh, I am so strong. Can I get out of the car?
Upon arrival, officers spotted a female driver. Her refusal to exit the vehicle raised concerns, leading to a series of events that would result in her facing serious charges. Despite officers' attempts to reason with her, she adamantly resisted, leading to a physical altercation. Don't kick him. I'm not kicking! I'm not kicking! The situation escalated further when she was informed that she was under arrest. The arrest became increasingly challenging as Shepard fought against being placed in the squad car, displaying both physical and verbal resistance. In a surprising turn of events, tensions ran high at the Chatham County Board of Elections meeting as a local speaker found herself at the center of controversy. It's against my right to leave. It's against for my, my right for you to ask me to leave. Please step outside. Uh, does everybody have this on film? Because I I'm too. Come on. Amidst the commotion, a woman, identified as a speaker, was instructed to leave the premises. However, she resisted the officer's attempts to escort her outside. You hurt me! You hurt me! Leave me alone! Despite her resistance, the officers proceeded to lift her from the room. One officer firmly grasped her foot while another took hold of her shoulder. The scene unfolded as the woman lay on the ground. This next video revolves around an incident where an anti-masker, whom we'll refer to as Karen, faces consequences for her actions. The officers encountered the woman, who refused to provide identification and ignored the officer's request to leave the store. Karen continued to argue and refused to comply with the officer's instructions. Karen's refusal to cooperate led to her eventual arrest for trespassing, failure to disclose personal identity identification and resisting arrest. Illegal, you can't have the purse. If you sir, kick me, you're going to go to jail. Illegal. Illegal. I'm not sir. your purse. I want your purse. I, illegal, sir. As the police accompanied her to the transport vehicle, she requested her cell phone. Once inside the transport vehicle, the police fastened her seatbelt, but she resisted, claiming it was an illegal search. In her protest, she attempted to kick the officer and continued to resist. Let's delve into the unfortunate encounter of a woman meeting Karma after a drunk driving accident. It's a few times, unfortunately, I gotta go through all the steps. And then you're gonna run into my dad. The officer arrives at the scene, asking her about the events leading up to the crash. The officer notices signs of potential impairment and asks her to perform a field sobriety test. She fails to perform the sobriety test adequately, leading to her arrest on charges of DUI alcohol. You're under arrest for DUI. Uh, no, I'm not. She resists arrest, insisting on talking to her father and expressing frustration towards the officer. The officer proceeds to tow her vehicle while she continues to argue and resist. We have a shocking incident at a gas station involving a woman screaming and causing a chaotic scene. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Okay, relax. Bring, bring it down. Um, bring it down a notch, please. Concerned for her well-being, the man discusses the situation, mentioning that the woman is acting erratically and screaming. They express worries about her safety and inquire about her whereabouts. The situation intensifies as the woman is seen moving around the gas station erratically. What are you doing? I'm just telling you because it's just going to fuck her in the back. There you go. Stand in there. The officers try to communicate with the woman, urging her to sit down and assuring her that they are there to help. However, the woman continues to yell and act aggressively. As the situation escalates, the officers issue a warning about potential arrest due to the woman's erratic behavior. Watch as this woman who allegedly abandoned her dog in a hotel lobby. The incident leads to a dramatic confrontation with law enforcement officers. You guys are really scared of me. Okay, well you're getting ready to go to jail. Why? For trespass. Um, how? You are not wanted here, they have told you. The receptionist had observed the woman leaving her dog unattended for an extended period and had asked her to leave the premises. Frustration grew, leading to a warning from the officer about potential arrest for trespassing. She claimed the officers were scaring her. I knew you would. I knew you'd do this, you dumb I knew you'd do this, you dumb You're breaking the law, Despite warnings, she resisted arrest holding her shoes. She attempted to hit the officers, resulting in her being cuffed and escorted outside. Outside, she continued to resist, forcing officers to use necessary force to control the situation. Officers in Florida respond to a call involving a woman intoxicated at an apartment complex. Little did they know, this routine call would soon escalate into a dramatic confrontation. I got time for this. You guys want to press charges? The officers advise the female to leave the premises, but she adamantly refuses, leading to a tense exchange. Despite numerous warnings, the situation escalates as the officers threaten to arrest her if she doesn't leave immediately. What the f are you doing? Stay in here. No! What are you doing? 
Why are you fixing to go to what jail for murder? Right from what? Because I asked you to leave. Faced with stubborn resistance, the officers reluctantly proceed to arrest the female, who continues to protest. As the officers prepare to transport her to jail, the female continues her emotional outburst, expressing frustration and anger. A routine traffic stop escalates into an unexpected arrest. Drive recklessly to put other people in officer, danger. Officer, respectfully, can have... you please have a seat back in your vehicle for me, please? And then may I have your license, insurance, and registration? The officer explains the speeding violation, citing the driver's speed and route taken. The driver expresses confusion and denies reckless driving. As the driver refuses to comply and insists on calling her dad, tensions rise. I'm not saying another word from you. Put your hands He's... behind your back. He's detaining me right now. Put your hands behind your back. What's going on over there? Oh, yeah. The driver continued to resist, claiming she was following instructions and demanded to speak to a supervisor. The situation escalated as the officer decided to arrest the driver for non-compliance. Officers Caffroni and Barnett respond to a call at a Chevrolet dealership regarding an intoxicated ex-employee. The situation quickly escalates when the woman refuses to leave the property. You're not leaving. I am, I am. Okay, what is your ride coming here? Oh, my mama me dice que va a venir. My partner doesn't speak Spanish. The officers arrived at the dealership to find the woman, who had started her day sober, but became intoxicated and argumentative as the hours passed. Having been fired, she defiantly remains at her desk. Resisting. This is resisting. This is not Stop resisting. resisting. I'm not resisting. I'm literally sure, innocent. Sure. I'm innocent. Ignoring the officers' requests, the woman continues to resist leaving, prompting officers Caffroni and Barnett to take action. Despite multiple attempts, the woman insists on staying and argues with the officers. As the situation intensifies, officers Caffroni and Barnett decide to place the woman under arrest. A routine traffic stop escalates into a wild encounter as a woman resists arrest. Do not take oh, off. Shut up and give me that and I'll sign it. Step out. No. We're beyond that. Do you want Step me to out. It all begins with a seemingly ordinary traffic stop where Karen is issued a ticket. However, Karen refuses to pay, claiming the police didn't give her a proper warning. Her refusal results in the police deciding to escalate the situation by making an arrest. In a surprising move, Karen drives away in an attempt to escape arrest. Put your hands behind your back! Faced with Karen's relentless resistance, police decide to physically remove her from the car. The situation takes a shocking turn when Karen, in an act of defiance, kicks the police officer. With limited options, the officer resorts to using a taser to subdue her. In a shocking incident captured on video, a routine traffic stop escalates into chaos. Stop playing! Stop with the car, Stay in the car. Okay, okay, stay okay, okay. Relax, stay in the okay, car. Okay, okay. okay, I'm getting out of the car, yo. Yeah. The situation quickly intensified as it became apparent that the husband was facing arrest due to an outstanding warrant. As the husband is taken to the front of the police car, the wife, unable to accept the situation, suddenly exits the car. She removes her jacket, sprinting towards one of the officers in an attempt to defend her husband. Stay in the car! Stay in the car! Really? Stay in the car! Put your hand behind your back! Shockingly, the wife attempts to attack the officer, resulting in her swift arrest. Despite being taken down and cuffed, the wife continues to resist, adding a layer of chaos to the unfolding events. A woman's complaints escalated into a shocking arrest. Watch how a simple disagreement with the manager led to a dramatic confrontation with the police. You're under arrest. Hand behind your back. Sorry! Ma'am. Sorry! Turn around. You're under Sorry. arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. Police were called to a local restaurant where an entitled woman was causing a disturbance. The manager asked her to leave the premises multiple times, but tensions escalated as she refused. The scene escalated as the woman continued resisting arrest, expressing her frustration and disbelief. After she was told to leave by management, so she's being arrested for failure to leave upon trespass and resisting arrest. Can you just, can you let her go? She didn't understand what more police officers arrived at the scene, amplifying the tension and drawing attention from passers-by. The incident sparked controversy, with onlookers questioning the necessity of the arrest and the level of force used by the officers. Officers in western Wisconsin responded to a quick-trip convenience store for an intoxicated 18-year-old female who passed out in her vehicle. You can't hear them anything else. You can't hear them? Yeah. You can't hear your eyes. I can't hear my ID. You can't hear, you don't need to hear your ID. Anna became uncooperative as officers attempted to communicate with Anna. Her slurred speech and the smell of intoxicants were evident. The officers repeatedly instruct her to stop, but Anna's resistance continues, leading to an encounter. Go look for her! All right. All right. Go look for her! Right. Yeah, 
The situation took a turn for the worse, as Anna repeatedly tried to close the door of her vehicle to the officers. Anna's refusal to provide identification and escalating aggression towards the officers resulted in a physical altercation. She strikes one of the officers, leading to her eventual arrest for battery on a police officer and resisting arrest. In an incident involving the South Kingstown Police, we have this body camera footage related to an incident with a Newport woman. I just want you to tell me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm right, okay. Let's have a seat right over here. Is that your mom? No. We hear a conversation between the police officers and an individual who is concerned about the well-being of someone involved in the incident. The police instruct her to move her car to a safer location, but tension begins to rise. Get in your car now! Tell, tell him, take it! No, you do not touch me! Oh my God! Stop! What are they doing? Oh my God! What are they doing? Are you kidding? She pleads with the officers, requesting them to call someone named Bob Barber. The altercation continues, and the police decide to arrest her. Claire expresses shock and disbelief at the turn of events. Here is a woman who took her defiance to new heights, resulting in her arrest. She's a representative of the aircraft. They don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? So you're going to have to get Actually, off the they aircraft. They made us wait and wait and wait. Yeah. We see airport police approaching the disruptive passenger. The officer instructs a representative from the airline to ask her to leave the plane, emphasizing that she's not wanted on their aircraft. Can we try talking to you? No, you, you really didn't. I talked back to you and I was calm. And you yeah, honestly acknowledged me for a moment and then you didn't. As tensions rise, the officer warns her that if she doesn't cooperate, he will have to intervene physically. She responds with defiance, claiming her right to express herself. Eventually, the officer decides to take matters into his own hands and physically remove her from the plane. This woman encounters law enforcement during a traffic stop. The situation escalates as she resists arrest and engages in a heated exchange with the officers. No, I don't have anybody. You guys, please don't. I just got a divorce. I'm trying to move. The officers inform her about the charges, including fleeing, hit and run, reckless driving and obstruction. Fleeing the scene and engaging in a heated argument with the officers, her attempt to escape the consequences only worsens her situation. No, you did not. Back in the car now. Back in the car. As the situation escalates, her erratic behavior prompts officers to use pepper spray, leaving her in distress. In the midst of the chaos, she demands her right to an attorney, unaware that her actions have already led to multiple felony charges. Watch this person who found herself in a heated confrontation with Hinsdale police officers. A police officer was serving an arrest warrant for domestic violence against Sean Malarkey. The officers instruct her to step out of her vehicle, but Sean becomes confrontational and refuses to comply with the officer's commands. Eventually, she was pulled outside her car by two officers and arrested, but she continued to resist. He touched me way more times than appropriate. Sean, get in No, do you know what he's done? He she resisted arrest and verbally threatened the officers, hinting at harm and asserting she would sue. The struggle continued as she accused one officer of inappropriate touching, resulting in a physical altercation where she kicked and attempted to bite the officers. This next video has sparked heated debates and accusations against the police officers involved. Stop resisting! Stop! You, you are under arrest! Stop no, resisting! Don't touch me! The officers expressed concern for Logan and her friend's well-being, discovering alcohol, illegal drugs, and a bong in the car. The confrontation intensifies as police attempt to question Logan about her activities. Get in the car! The police decide to arrest Logan, and the tension escalates further as she resists and pleads with the officers. However, they also make sexual assault allegations against officers, further complicating the narrative. Logan is eventually subdued and placed under arrest. This woman believed that the rules didn't apply to her, and things quickly escalated. Come here. Give me my sh**. I didn't do sh**. Stop. 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 The officer maintained composure, calmly explaining to her that she was causing a disturbance. In a surprising turn of events, she abruptly tapped the shoulder of one of the officers, leading to her immediate arrest. Despite being apprehended, she continued to yell and express her grievances. Get the f China. Get her right over there. Okay. Do not move. I'm up for you. Do not move. Do not move. As she was being escorted to the police car, she persistently resisted, kicking one of the officers while accusing and shouting that the officer was a pervert. She continues to resist even inside of the police car. We have a compelling story of those who were arrested for preaching the gospel. I, 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 
police officer, and I am telling you to give me your identification. I do know your constitutional rights. The group argues about the legality of the officer's actions, questioning if it's legal to demand their IDs. They staunchly refuse to provide their IDs, asserting their belief in constitutional rights. The situation intensified when one woman attempted to walk away, ignoring the officer's warning to stay put. The officer then took decisive action, grabbing her arm and bringing her down, resulting in her arrest. A school teacher, a bus driver, and an elected official found herself in a challenging situation one night. My direction. Oh. Like I said, he can and I, told me. And he I told me because he's an emergency. Andrea arrives at the scene, and Officer Jay Ahrens notices a strong odor of intoxicants when speaking with her. Concerned about Andrea's state, Officer Ahrens decides to conduct field sobriety tests. However, Andrea's behavior becomes erratic, and she begins yelling for her family to record the incident. Whoa, whoa, keep going, keep going, keep going. The final result of this test, here. The final result of this test was a 0.17, almost double the legal limit. That's why you were arrested. Andrea is eventually arrested for driving under the influence, and her resistance continues even during the arrest process. She undergoes a breathalyzer test, revealing her high base. She pleads and protests, claiming she only drove because of her son's accident. This woman found herself in a distressing situation, making a 911 call, seeking help with her abusive boyfriend. However, things take a turn when she hangs up upon being asked for her location. Little did she know, this action prompted the police to swiftly track her down, using the ping from her phone. Who called you? I didn't call you. What's your phone? We got a call. Hello. Hi. Oh. Okay. She begins aggressively, claiming the need to go to work and questioning the police presence. Despite her denial of making the call, her lie is exposed when the officer redials the number. As tensions rise, Kayla's husband enters the scene aggressively, aiming his fist at the police. Chaos ensues, and the officers use a taser to detain him. In the end, both of them were arrested and facing charges. Here, we've got a wild Karen encounter that takes the term entitled to a whole new level. This woman kicks a man simply because she doesn't believe his dog is a service animal. And then the dog jumped on me, so I turned around and I kicked him in the air. You have your ID on you? Watch this heated interaction between the woman and the police officers who respond to the incident. You're going to give me a ticket. As a matter of fact, you are going to jail. Oh, that's even better. Yep. So turn around, put your hands behind your back. The situation becomes more surreal as she, unable to grasp the severity of her actions, argues with the officer. She questions her right to be arrested and tries to justify her assault. We have a shocking incident when a woman found herself in hot water after an alcohol-fueled incident on a plane. Officers were called to the scene and the situation quickly escalated. I know, I know. What were they saying to you? Oh, bro, they just oh, yeah, being rude. They're like, I'm not even trying to be racist, but yeah. these people are stupid yeah. white person and they yeah. just want to Despite attempts to reason with her, the woman insisted that she was being unfairly targeted. The police, however, quickly determined that her level of intoxication posed a risk to herself and others. You're a right Stop. 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 You. Stop. Stop. You. Stop. You. Spread your feet apart. Yeah, okay, there you go. You happy The young woman, still oblivious to the severity of her actions, became increasingly belligerent. The woman, now in custody, begins to display highly unusual behavior. It becomes apparent that she is struggling to comprehend why she is being arrested, adding another layer of complexity to the already chaotic situation. The Santa Rose Police Department had a routine traffic stop until a woman in the middle of the road disrupted it. Okay. You need to move on or you're going to go to give her a ticket. The traffic stop was interrupted when the woman refused to move despite multiple requests. She claimed concern for safety, but officers urged her to move on or receive a ticket. Ignoring the warnings, the woman persisted, leading to her arrest for interfering with the traffic stop and obstruction of justice. Duh. Would you like to have your seatbelt on or off? Okay. Some worse than me. The woman insisted on contacting her husband to retrieve her vehicle instead of having it towed. She initially refused, but eventually agreed. We've got another wild encounter as we witness yet another Karen getting herself into hot water. If you're gonna Okay. I guess you one of the worst. All right. Yeah. Get out of here. What's going on tonight? What's the problem, sir? The woman, seemingly intoxicated, starts by questioning the officer's motives and claiming mental illness. The situation is already tense, and the officer tries to ease things by suggesting they talk. The officer maintains his composure, insisting on a civil conversation. Hands behind your back. Hands behind You want to swing at me? Are you kidding me? 
Despite the officer's efforts, the situation takes a violent turn as she physically assaults the officer. The officer responds appropriately, signaling the need for an arrest. Chaos erupts at a CVS in Lakewood, Ohio, as a woman goes on a rampage inside the store. Pardon me! Why don't you care about that? Why don't you care about that? Why do you only care about this? Stop looking! I fucking know what you're looking at! Upon their arrival, officers found her outside the CVS, visibly intoxicated and agitated. Despite no signs of physical harm, she accuses the officers of assault, creating a challenging situation. Exactly. Yeah, bro, bro. Bro. I want someone to Later on, she was arrested and faces multiple charges, including criminal damaging or endangering, disorderly conduct, assault on a police officer, and harassment. In this shocking video, we witness a 20-year-old girl caught in a DUI arrest. The encounter with the police takes a dramatic turn as Christine becomes emotional and makes alarming statements. The officer questions Christine about her alcohol consumption, to which she admits having some drinks earlier. Christine claims that the alcohol found in the car isn't hers, stating it belongs to a friend. The officer then requests her driver's license, leading to a more intense exchange. Please don't, please don't, please, please don't, please, 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 the officer attempts to conduct sobriety tests, but Christine's emotional distress hinders the process. She continues to express her desire to end her life, creating a challenging situation for the officers. Despite pleas and emotional breakdowns, the officers decide to proceed with arresting Christine. Watch this woman's peculiar behavior at a school's premises led to a series of unexpected encounters with the authorities. Deputy Getro with the Sheriff's Office here in Vero Beach. Uh, I'm just coming to do a welfare check on you. Somebody said that you were parked at the school and possibly took a dump in the bushes. The encounter took an unexpected turn when the same Honda casually drove through the school's parking lot during the police questioning. During the questioning, Archibald, seemingly in an altered state, resisted providing her identity, leading to a prolonged and tense interaction. Stop, 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 stop. You're being detained. Stop. Stop. Oh, no, no, need to stop. 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 Officers attempted to ascertain her identity and well-being, but Archibald's erratic behavior continued. The situation escalated, resulting in Archibald's arrest on charges of trespassing, resisting arrest, and providing a false name while detained. An enraged woman sparked chaos, leading to her arrest and a lifetime ban from the airline. Yo, lady, ah, 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 we don't speak that here. What are you saying? The county sheriff's office received reports of a woman who left her massive luggage at the terminal, refusing to pay a baggage fee. As officers inspected the luggage, the woman returned to the scene. A heated confrontation ensued as she shouted racial slurs, creating a public spectacle. Officers attempted to calm the situation, but the woman's erratic behavior continued. No, 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 Put your hands behind your back. Despite the officer's efforts, she persisted in her aggressive and offensive behavior. Unable to defuse the situation, officers decided to arrest the woman for her disruptive behavior. A 47-year-old woman found herself in a chaotic situation that would lead to her arrest. It all began at a bar where she attempted to engage several male patrons romantically. Dump it out. God, I want to clear that thing out too. I've got nothing. Can you get that thing out of my face? Can you please calm down? Can you get that thing out of my face? Yeah, I haven't down. done anything wrong. In a dramatic turn of events, officers attempted to arrest her, who vehemently denied any wrongdoing. As tensions escalated, she resisted arrest, insisting on her innocence. The scene grew chaotic as she yelled, cursed, and even made an attempt to clean out her bag, claiming she had nothing to hide. I'm not screaming or banging anything. I can hear it. Let me tell I'm you not something. doing anything. I need someone to scratch my nose. Do you see this? Was that supposed to scare this me? Is as a last resort, officers decided to use a hobble to secure her in the back seat of the police car due to her continued resistance. The situation grew more intense as Barrasso demanded attention for a scratched nose, further contributing to the chaotic atmosphere. The Escambia County Sheriff's Office had their hands full with an unusual incident at Beacon Food Store. A white female sporting a grey hoodie and jeans caused chaos. Upon arrival, the woman attempts to flee from the officers but is quickly detained. However, the drama doesn't end there. She continues to resist arrest, claiming she's being electric shocked and demanding unusual conditions for cooperation. Okay. Okay. That's, yeah. that's, 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 
As the officers brought the suspect to the jail, her bizarre behavior continued, making it clear that safety concerns were not only for the customers, but also for the officers dealing with her. It's a reminder of the unpredictable situations law enforcement faces daily. We have another Karen getting arrested, but this time it involves a domestic battery situation. No, I don't, I know. Uh, you have to step No, up. I, why? I'm I've you, been I'm sitting the in the passenger seat of my car. Officers respond to a domestic battery call and things quickly escalate. The woman refuses to cooperate and blames her erratic behavior on, you guessed it, garlic croutons. All of my things and you're gonna let him go through my stuff to get my freaking stuff. As the arrest progresses, the woman continues her dramatic outbursts. From claiming possession to demanding her croutons, the situation takes a surreal turn. It's like she's performing an exorcism on herself. At least they finally get her in cuffs. In a shocking turn of events, a paramedic, someone entrusted with saving lives, found themselves on the wrong side of the law. Caught on camera, a wild DUI encounter unfolds as this woman decides to take matters into her own hands, literally stopping traffic with her reckless behavior. I'm a paramedic firefighter, actually. Okay. <laughs> uh, what are you, you guys? Need, you don't need EMS? No, sir. As law enforcement arrives to intervene, the situation escalates further. The woman, clearly intoxicated, attempts to use her job title as a shield against the consequences of her actions. Let's witness yet another encounter with a drunken Karen getting arrested. She claimed entitlement due to her father being a lawyer. Despite the officer's professional demeanor, this woman insisted on not complying, asserting that her dad, being a lawyer, forbade her from doing so. The field sobriety test, including the walk and turn exercise, revealed her inability to follow instructions and maintain balance. Right, let's go over here. Camera, right? Yep, we got four cameras out here. Well, you didn't remember anything, so... You didn't cooperate, so... Her excuses, ranging from PTSD to asking for tips on how to handle the situation, only intensified the absurdity of the encounter. In the end, she was ultimately arrested for driving under the influence and obstruction of an officer. On August 11th, 2021, the peaceful ambience of a local bar in La Crosse, Wisconsin, was shattered by an unexpected turn of events. I don't try to run at me, but I fell. But then got back up. She never touched me, I never touched her. Sorry? But she was verbally abused her. Police received a distressing call, reporting a woman inside the bar, heavily intoxicated and causing a ruckus. Eyewitnesses described a scene of chaos as the woman lashed out at patrons and refused to heed requests to leave. But, whoa, what the was that? Why are you pushing me? Hey, well, I'm I stood. Yep. Ultimately, due to the threat she posed to herself and others, officers made the difficult decision to arrest her for disorderly conduct. On the night of January 29th, 2022, tensions reached a boiling point at a local bar, resulting in a confrontation that would ultimately lead to an arrest. The officers arrived on the scene, attempting to peacefully resolve the situation. They gave the woman every opportunity to comply with their requests, hoping to avoid an arrest. Despite the officer's efforts, the woman refused to cooperate, escalating the encounter into a tense standoff. In a bizarre turn of events at a local Wendy's drive through chaos erupted when a woman threw a hamburger at the restaurant staff, resulting in her husband's arrest. Okay, Stop. you're under arrest. Fine. 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 You want to arrest You come me? out of that car. Car, you go too. Get, get back in her. Get back in her. Get back in her. Despite multiple warnings, she persisted in her belligerent behavior and was promptly placed under arrest. Get out of that car. Stop. Get out of that car. The husband, refusing to cooperate, was also arrested, adding another layer of chaos to the already bizarre situation. In a quiet Ohio town, chaos erupted as law enforcement responded to a shocking DUI incident. This wasn't just any DUI arrest, but the fifth OVI incident for one woman, sending shockwaves through the community and raising serious concerns about safety on the roads. Keep both legs straight. We're going to keep your eyes on your elevated foot and you're going to keep your hands to your side. You can't tell me what to do. Okay. Responding quickly, the sergeant and officer located the blue Honda in a nearby parking lot. Her slurred speech, potent alcoholic odor, and bloodshot eyes raised immediate concerns. Despite admitting to drinking, she agreed to perform field sobriety tests, which she unfortunately failed. You're going to be under arrest for OBI. Wow. Do you have anything on you? No. Nope. 
the situation escalated at the arrest. She displayed aggressive behavior, hitting her head against the car partition. This behavior continued at the jail, with screaming, resistance, and hostility towards the officers. Tensions reached a boiling point when Cara Bell's face mask meltdown escalated into a shocking altercation, leaving her facing assault charges. But what really transpired on that fateful day? Exclusive body cam footage obtained by Sunset Valley Police unveils the truth. Think it's a racist thing? I don't know. We're not it, here to talk about race. Well, you know what? It kind of seems like it's a racist thing when the black woman doesn't have a mask on, but she comes after the white one. In the video, Cara Bell is seen refusing to identify herself to the call taker, claiming it's her God-given right to be on this planet. The officer tries to de-escalate the situation, but tensions rise as Bell accuses the situation of being racially motivated. I'm sick of being bullied, I'm sick of being lied to, and it's not gonna happen anymore. Do you understand? The CDC just released... Turn around. Oh my God. The call taker informs Bell that assault charges are being considered against her, and she alleges that she was also assaulted. Bell suggests a racial motive, questioning why she, a white person without a mask, was targeted while another woman, a black person without a mask, was not. In the end, she was arrested. On February 25, 2023, what started as a routine night for patrons at a local bar in Ohio quickly turned into a scene straight out of a movie. Officers arrived to find the driver unconscious, with the car still running. Despite their efforts to rouse him, the driver remained unresponsive. You promise I'm not going to jail? I can't make that promise. If you can find a ride, you won't go to jail. I'll get a ride, I promise. Upon waking, the driver complied with officers' instructions, but things took a turn when he refused to participate in field sobriety tests. Let's see the unfolding drama as an entitled rich girl finds herself in a dire situation. Caught in the act of driving under the influence, she's about to learn that her family's wealth won't always bail her out of trouble. Oh God. They're still arresting Stop me! Arresting. Oh, dude! What are you doing? Don't resist. Despite her attempts to flee the scene, the officers swiftly detain her, cuffing her hands behind her back. Panic sets in as she realizes the gravity of her actions. Oh but her desperate pleas fall on deaf ears. The officers proceed with the arrest, unfazed by her attempts to leverage her family's influence. Cut to the inside, where there's a steady flow of individuals, some wearing masks, others not. The camera zooms in on a woman standing defiantly at the entrance, engaged in a heated discussion with a security guard. To the glory of Almighty God. In memory of Calvert County men and women mm -hmm. who served their country with valor and honor. Despite repeated requests from courthouse security, the woman adamantly refused to wear a mask, citing personal beliefs and claiming it infringed upon her rights. Ultimately, the woman's refusal to adhere to the mask mandate led to her arrest, underscoring the importance of respecting public health guidelines, even in contentious situations. Tensions rise as a routine trip to the bank takes an unexpected turn. What started as a mundane errand quickly escalated into a dramatic confrontation, all caught on camera. I'll say, if, if that's you lead, you have to leave. My money is in this bank, and I'm going to take it out. Well, then you have to abide by the rules. Officer Johnson, a seasoned veteran of the force, arrived on the scene prepared to restore order. But what he encountered was a situation more volatile than he anticipated. Touch me! You think you are? Point time, one oh, back up, back up! Some old lady is getting handcuffed here. With tensions reaching a breaking point, Officer Johnson was left with no choice but to intervene. The woman's refusal to cooperate resulted in her being placed under arrest. An unexpected event sent shockwaves through the community. Nothing. I missed my bus. Okay. So why are we out here? Why? Because I missed my bus. On this particular day, tensions were brewing between two individuals. What started as a seemingly ordinary disagreement quickly escalated into something much more serious. How do you say your last name, ma'am? Froze. Froze? Yeah, Froze, Froese, Froese, however you want to say it. After a thorough investigation, it became apparent that one individual had allegedly committed a serious offense, battery. The suspect was swiftly apprehended and taken into custody. In the town of La Crosse, Wisconsin, the peaceful morning was disrupted by a troubling incident. The chief of police responded to a call involving a woman. Hi, do you know where she went? No. You just want her gone? Just one of them. Okay. I dealt with her this morning. Oh, you did already? Yeah, she's been in a couple places in the last two days. Upon arrival at Melissa's cousin's residence, the chief learned about Melissa's disruptive behavior the previous night, which led to her being asked to leave. However, she persisted in lingering around the property, causing distress to her relatives. Melissa, hi. Yeah, grab your stuff and go. Why? They don't want you here. 
here. Oh, my aunt doesn't want me here? Nope. Lily. Yep, she just said I want you to go, so grab your stuff and... Can I talk to her? Eventually, Melissa was located in the backyard, where she engaged in a tense exchange with the chief, expressing reluctance to leave the property. What started as a typical encounter between law enforcement and a reckless driver soon escalated into a situation that caught everyone by surprise. Okay. How much have you had to drink tonight? How many hours? Two drinks. Okay, how big were they? Because the way that you were driving doesn't seem like just two drinks. You. It was soon determined that the driver was operating the vehicle while intoxicated, posing a serious danger to herself and others on the road. We do a couple field sobrieties, okay? Is it in park? Why don't you put it in park for me? Perfect. The driver was subjected to a field sobriety test, which they struggled to complete. Their speech was slurred and their balance was compromised, confirming the officer's suspicions. Tensions rise as a routine traffic stop takes an unexpected turn. Let's delve into the encounter between law enforcement and a woman whose frustration leads to a series of escalating events. Registration insurance, please. I'm following up the chief. Driver's license, registration insurance, please. Driver's license, registration insurance, please. As the officer approaches the driver's window, tension mounts. The driver seems agitated, fumbling through their glove compartment. Okay. Put the hey, phone. hey, hey! Put the phone down. Please get me! Put the phone down. Hey! He's using force and it's not needed! The officer's patience wears thin as he repeatedly asks to put her phone down. Politeness can go a long way with everybody, not just the police. 